Hi Tower friends. In a previous video I already demonstrated this computer, this upgraded computer that has several upgrades inside. And for those who haven't seen this video yet, let me just do a quick review of what's inside this machine. Inside it we have the Rapidus uh, Rapidus upgrade. We have the VBXE. It is connected right now to this monitor through a SCART connector. We have the dual Pocky for stereo that outputs stereo audio. And we have the ultimate one megabyte. And in the previous video, I showed how fast this computer can run uh, existing Atari games. Well, in this video, I would like to show you something else. And let me just close this machine. I would like to show you a ZX Spectrum emulator. This was written by Konard Kokotswitch. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Also known as DRAC 030 on the Atari H site. So I have the emulator already copied onto the side 2 cartridge here. So let me just uh, change to drive 3 where the partition of the side cartridge is there and I'm going to load the ZX emulator. That's a software that will emulate the ZX Spectrum machine and will allow me to run ZX Spectrum file which are tape images or computer snapshots. So let's load the emulator. Oh, sorry, wrong file. So it's loading the emulator and it's automatically detecting the dual pokey. That went very fast. It detected the pokey, it detected the rapidus, and it detected the um, VBXC. Uh, if I will just go to the Rapidus menu very quickly, you can see that right now I'm operating in the Rapidus emulation feast, uh, speed. So right now this computer is operated on the 65816 CPU running at uh, 14 uh, megahertz. And if I will go, let me just exit here. If I'll go very quickly to the side, uh, to the ultimate cartridge, you can see that I am using um, the full ultimate memory, which is one megabyte of RAM. And I will explain why you need one megabyte of RAM in a moment. So let's go exit the ultimate menu. Um, just exit and let's load okay so now we are loading the ZX emulator and uh, it's called let's emu it's the latest version 0 0.94 and it allows me to uh, load ZX file. So I'm just going to load um, a file. Let's push the letter L. And let's load the Golden X tape image. That is ZX Spectrum Golden X game. So it's very quickly loaded off this cartridge. I can also load it through a file through the SIO to PC and store those files on my PC computer. And after I load them, basically what it is, I loaded the tape image into the extended memory of the Atari computer. So now the emulator will address the extended memory and will emulate the ZX. So I'm just going to push the letter G, go ZX. And now I booted, uh, switched the Atari, and now the Atari emulated an, a ZX 48k computer so as all ZX to load a tape you just push the letter J and then control double P just to load 
the tape. Yeah, and we just started and we are now playing a ZX Spectrum game on the Atari 8-bit computer. Let's do Infinite Life. And you can see that the emulator also emulate the Spectrum music through the uh, Dual Pokey. Okay, and let's use the joystick and let's start the game. See how it plays. I'm gonna use um Let's try number four. Let's try the this character. I can switch. Let's this one. It's easier. There's no need for player number two. If player number two wants to join, you can just join with the keyboard. Up, down, left, right, and fire and magic. Okay, so let's uh, play. Let's start with one player. Okay, so that's me. Just using the joystick to play the game. Oops, sorry. I guess I'm not that's a, such a good player here. Um, let's try to take another life here. Oh, they're nasty. infinite life so we just get rid of this dude here let's move on oh, I think I should get some oh, he's moving fast I should get a dragon here yeah, see if I can get a dragon. Okay. Yeah, so it's a full play game. You can just go to more giants here, go to all the level of the original uh, Golden Axe game. Okay, so when you want to get when you exit the em the game through the emulator, just push start. You go back to the emulator. We can just clear the memory, and let's load another another game. Let's load Last Ninja Two. Click G, and again same routine J, Control, Double P. Try playing. Okay, so that's the. Well, I haven't played this game back in the days because this game was never, did not exist to the Atari computer. So I'm not quite sure what what's need what do I need to do here. I'm guessing I have to go somewhere. Oh, you can jump. You can fight. How you fight? Oh, this is how you fight. All right. It's 
Okay, something happens here. I see his life spend. Okay, so I got rid of that dude here. And I haven't really played that game. So I really don't know what to do with it, but I remember reading a lot about it back in the days. And I was just so upset that this game was never, uh, did not exist on the Atari computer. Anyway, let's try another game. Let's clear the memory. Uh, we can try Batman. Batman Cape Crusader. Okay, I remember seeing that game over at Friends. It's sort of like a cartoon game. So, yeah, I'm Batman. I can pick up stuff here. the way the screens are open. Anyway, yeah, another game. Let's try another one. You have also have Indiana Jones here. Yeah, and if you push the help key, you can actually see all these Spectrum keys that are being emulated by the Atari. So this is actually how the Spectrum 48K keyboard looks like. By pushing one of those keys, you just uh, react like the Spectrum key. So that's another Indiana Jones game. It's angry on me, why? Oh, I have a ladder here. Let's try climb. Oh, I have a whip. Oh, that's nice. No. Anyway, that's the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. One of the one of my favorite games are text adventure games and the game Hobbit were never released for the Atari computer. I remember playing back in the days almost every adventure game that I could find. By reading on the magazine there is a game that is called The Hobbit. I was a little bit upset it was never released for the Atari computer. Well, I can play the Hobbit game right now on the... Atari computer. Nice. Go west. Cannot go west. Go east. Cannot go east. Well, that's typical. Anyway, Let's try another. We have Eric the Viking, another level nine adventure game. So ZAD is a snapshot of a 
Commodore image, so you can go just directly into the game. And uh, probably here we can go west. The road is blocked. Go north. Also, road is blocked. Go east. Road is blocked. So don't go east. All right. Anyway, nice. You can go down. Go down. So, yeah, we can play um, Eric the Viking text adventure game. That's nice. So, what else do we have here? First, I have your more files. No, it's all directory is empty. Why is that? Um, yeah, it should be there. Probably the SIO to PC lost the directories of all the um yeah it did. I can just mount I can mount back the directories with all the files. And I can load more files for my computer here, like Manic Miner, uh, Jet Set Wheelie, and, and so forth and so forth. Let's try and end this short video with a demo. So I'm going to have my Atari running and emulating a Spectrum running a demo. ZX Spectrum emulator, Atari can run ZX Spectrum games and play ZX Spectrum games on a, an Atari 8-bit. I hope you enjoyed this video and until uh, next time, enjoy your Atari!